Oh, dear mother of God, guys. So if this is real, this is the opening of Scream. I want to start it out with that. So we start off with very high stakes. So here's the deal. Um, I would say, number one, take these things with a grain of salt. We don't know this for sure. This person who said this is very, very cocky. I kind of respect that about them because I like them. I like people just kind of being full of themselves in that way. He's very cocky. He's very confident that he is right about this so if we want to believe him then again i'm going to be reading the beginning of this movie so i would say and people do get uh, kind of offended when these kind of things happen make sure if you want to know stick around would love to have you if you don't want to know i completely respect that and i have no problem if you bail out now i will say this comes from that viewer anon which we talked about a couple days ago in the video talking about selena gomez talking about that the opening is not a celebrity cameo same guy uh, now, again, in that video, I said I didn't really know who he was. I don't know the history of him, mainly because I don't pay attention to people that cover leaks and rumors in the movie industry. I'm, I'm more focused on the gaming side. Uh, and, you know, since then, again, he, he has actually kind of dared people to look him up on Twitter because he's gotten a lot of things right in the past. OK, so, again, you choose to believe it or not. Uh, if you want to believe it, then again, buckle up and, and we're going to go right into this. So, again, last chance exit now if you don't want to potentially know the opening so here we go i know people were revved up for a trailer reveal at CinemaCon today and i still feel bad that paramount uh, whiffed it so here are some details from scream's opening scene for people who ask who i am google viewer anon i've leaked full synopsis of movies in the past including stuff like wonder woman 1984 more than a year before it actually released i'm not going to release a full synopsis for, for scream because i think that would hurt a whodunit uh, movie more than a superhero movie so here are some early details of the opening scene which i assure you are very real again very cocky which is fine like some rumors have said it does center on tara she's texting her friend amber which is jenna ortega by the way is tara remember the voice calls the landline but isn't threatening claims to be a friend of her mother's eventually the talk turns to horror movies especially stab since tara lives in woodsboro tara doesn't like slashers preferring elevated horror like the babadook or the witch uh the voice starts getting aggressive and tara hangs up she texts amber again as the landline rings they do have landlines then she gets a text from amber's phone telling her to pick up the landline how did you know it's ringing because i'm not amber she gets a video Video message of the killer watching Amber from outside her window, uh, brandishing a hunting knife. Another text says if she doesn't pick up the phone, Amber dies. Tara picks up, and the voice asks her if she remembers the opening scene of Stab. They're going to play Stab Trivia. If Tara misses a question, Amber dies. Tara very smartly dials 911 on her cell as this is happening. Warm-up question. Who's the main character in Stab? Sydney Prescott, of course. First question. Who wrote the book Stab is based on? Tara cheats and uses IMDb to learn it's Gail Weathers. Find Final question, who is the killer in Stab? Tara says she knows this one. It's Sydney's psycho boyfriend, Billy Loomis, but that's the wrong answer. Stu Mocker was actually, was also one of the killers. Now Amber has to die. Tara bolts the front door to try to get to her friend, but when she opens it, Ghostface is there and slashes her across the stomach. Tara retreats back into the house and fights back against the ghost, and that's all you're getting for now. Uh, and then somebody, I th and I think this is somebody else, they kind of like recapped it. A scream, the first time we see Sydney, she's pushing a stroller with a kid in it. Gail is a TV reporter again. Scream 5, Tara calls 911 on her cell before Ghostface attacks her. Her opening scene, her fight scene is brutal. She's saved by police lights coming. The shot is on Ghostface with flashing police lights. Title card, Scream. In the third act, Gail does some investigating, finds out Billy Loomis got someone pregnant before he died. It's also why Sam and Tara's parents split up. Jenna Ortega survives the opening scene but gets her leg broken and spends the first half of the movie in the hospital. Ghostface calls Tara on a landline in 2021 in the opening scene. Why do the Carpenters still have landlines? So that is it. Um, now here's the deal. I kind of believe it. I feel like it all makes sense. Am I a fan of it? I'm, well... It, it, okay, no matter what I say, I think I'm going to make people mad. I would say I absolutely am a fan. Like, I think watching that play out would be absolutely incredible. However, I am not a fan of the repetitiveness because in a lot of ways, it is literally one again. And I get it. There's inspiration taken from one. But I don't think... And this, again, this is like gut reaction. You could say, well, you can't judge the movie based off of a description of the first, I don't know, two, three minutes of the movie. And I would say that's very fair, right? Keep that, you know, keep that in mind as I'm talking throughout this whole thing. There's a lot that this movie can change minds of or not change minds of or whatever. But I feel like if the beginning 
huge set piece, basically, right? Chase, attack, uh, phone call. If it's very reminiscent of one, that doesn't give me much hope that the rest of the movie isn't going to be reminiscent of one. And, you know, again, as I've said before, do you, like, is one a good movie to kind of, like, base yourself off of, right? Like, if you're trying to match a movie or a Scream movie, is one the one you want to do? Absolutely. There's, I mean, there's no doubt about it. Starting a new franchise, but focusing on Sydney, all of that stuff. It's definitely smart. However, I don't, and I've said this a thousand times, I'm going to say it a thousand and one times and probably more in the future, I don't want Scream 1 again. Uh, so, and again, you know, that's very easy for me to say, you know, I'm, I'm in a rocking chair here, you know, I'm sitting, talking to you guys, very easy for me to say, I get it, I get it's more difficult than just that, I also get that this guy could be wrong, uh, or there could just be more intricate details to the opening scene that could be really cool, that we're not really a privy to the information, you know, again, all that stuff is kind of floating in my head uh, in the background, but it does, you know, it does make sense, I mean, you know, it it's definitely seems like, Based on and, and you know maybe you could say well maybe he's he's making it up and one spot that I would go to 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 if you want to go down that route is when Jenna Ortega was on the Drew Barrymore show right and she said like how she idolizes her her and all that stuff I mean that's where people really including myself right where we really got the idea that she could be you know uh, like the opening scene in general so that's very you know that that makes sense i guess connected to it the idea that you would do something much like one the idea that it seems like again if this is true she loses i mean she really she doesn't fully defend herself she doesn't escape she literally gets saved by the police so kind of a almost a reflection right but a little bit different of, of the first one right where she's badly injured but instead of her parents seeing her instead of her screaming out you know for help you know this time she kind of would be saved you know although she would get slashed and and her leg would be broken and she would spend again the first half in the hospital which is interesting the sydney kid thing i mean hey it's possible that one of these and we've talked about it right it is one of the kids in this movie and okay at the same time, now I kind of want to go to, like, Judy Hicks and say, well, I believe what Dylan Minnette's character, I think, is her son, technically, in this film. So, like, and his name is Wes, right? So, is she the one that Billy Loomis got pregnant? Is he Billy Loomis's son? In which case, Dylan Minnette is one of the ghost face killers. Also, maybe you can infer, based off of the opening, again, this is just kind of me going off, literally, I have no script, I'm just kind of thinking, if Ghostface sends a video of himself outside of her friend's house but then when tara runs out and she gets slashed immediately right there that means there's two at least two or he set a camera up out and again like we don't know that like i guess we'll see that if it's true in the movie is the camera moving is it a stationary thing like did he put a computer or a phone outside of this amber's house and it's just kind of watching and then that means he doesn't actually have to be there so that's another thing there could be it, it seems like that sets up that there's two there could be one maybe there's three right so we're kind of in the normal range we would expect uh, from a screen movie. So, that, you know, again, there's there's a lot we can get from it. If it's true, you know, Sydney pushing a baby. So she she had a kid, uh, you know, it depends on who her we'll see who her husband is. Right. So it's a. Uh, it gave a lot. Um, I, I don't know for sure. You know, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm not a genie and a psychic. I don't know this guy. Um, I would not be surprised if this is real. If it is, I will say this kind of starts the negative part of my coverage where it's like, and it, because, you know, the people that say left in the first minute, which, again, I don't blame them. Firstly, thank you for those that, that stuck through. But, like, it's only going to get more spoilery, you know what I mean, from here on out, where when the first trailer comes out, all this stuff, I mean, there's going to be danger of spoiling the movie, figuring out the killer. Um, so we'll have to see what ends up happening. But even for me, I'll, I'll be flat out honest, like I, I won't necessarily like, I, I kind of do like these videos, but I also kind of don't because now I'm headfirst in it. And if a lot of this stuff uh, becomes true, now we already know the opening. We know about, you know, a baby connection. So who who's the mother of, you know, this Billy Loomis's kid? Who's the kid itself? You know, that kind of stuff is something that we'll have to figure out. So let me know what you guys think about this entire thing if you think it's real or fake or anything you can read into let me know in the comments below as always make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up and finally if you guys want to follow me on twitter or subscribe to my second channel or support us on patreon or youtube memberships all the links for those are in the description below for you guys to check out okay thank you for watching and i'll see you all on the next video